Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Lainey. Today we're going to be talking about trends I like right now. I guess you could kind of call them winter 2022 trends, but maybe that'll be a different video. Who knows? Let's just get into it. Okay, so the first trend I'm really liking and one that I want to thrift because I think I could actually wear it right now are skinny scarves. And I know like people have been wearing skinny scarves kind of for a while now, especially like the people who really enjoy Y2K fashion and trying things early, um, earlier than like a trend hitting. But the kind of skinny scarves I'm talking about, and I try to put photos up on the screen of what I mean, but sometimes they just like don't exist. Like there's so few photos of the exact thing I'm talking about because I am so particular. So when I'm talking about skinny scarves, I kind of mean more with like an off the shoulder if i'm wearing an off the shoulder black sweater adding a black skinny scarf maybe in the same material or a silk and kind of draping it doing the cross around um i think that is so pretty i'm mostly like black skinny scarves at the moment yeah i think they're just a lot cuter as like a accessory like a neck accessory scarf necklace kind of thing rather than something that keeps you warm because if i'm pairing a scarf with my winter jacket to go out i want it to be like a thick knitted scarf but say i'm going out to dinner and i still have my winter jacket on but under it i would have my skinny scarf i hope i can find some photos of what i mean okay and the next trend that that I'm really liking are the racer like moto jackets they're not a moto jacket because a moto jacket is this this is a true moto jacket I'm talking about a racer jacket I think that's the word that has been coined with it because for another video I was trying to find photos of it and that was the only word that would bring up results of what I was looking for we're gonna call it the racer jacket it's kind of got no collar and is a more fitted feel which is something very different than the past few leather jacket trends we've seen in the past like five years i would say because with the leather blazer we were looking at really oversized leather blazers which i really really liked and then again with the leather bomber it was a super oversized even if it wasn't necessarily like long oversized they were wide and then now with this racer jacket they're a lot more fitted you can't necessarily layer a lot of things under it which that part i don't like and then you sometimes zip it up all the way and have it buttoned or you have it unzipped and just buttoned at the top you compare it with jeans a skirt whatever it's a leather jacket you compare it with anything i do really really like this i don't think i would spend or like go out of my way to spend money on it and buy it if it's something i found at the thrift store for a good price maybe i'd pick it up just because of filming youtube and kind of um wanting to show you guys how to style things. They're more of a top than a jacket to me, honestly. I think if I was to wear it in the wintertime, I would have to wear my racer jacket and then like fur jacket on top or a winter jacket on top. So that part kind of sucks. Um, but I do think they're really, really cute. Will I buy it? I don't know, but sometimes it's okay to like trends, have appreciation for them, and not have to buy every single thing. So the next trend I'm really, really drawn to right now are big purses and more so big hobo style purses. Whether these are just like shoulder bags or crossbody, I found so many good vintage ones on eBay that are like Coach or what's the other brand? Coach. Bottega Veneta. I think those are my like two favorites, but again, I just can't bite the bullet and buy them. And now I have the universal excuse. Oh, I'll give them to my daughter one day. And I used to say that before I was pregnant <laughs> and even knew if I'd ever have a daughter. And now I know that and I'm like, sorry, girl. I just don't know if I, I can bite the bullet and buy that. It's fine. I don't know if I'm really into these big sized purses because I'm going into my mom era and to me, they just feel like a mom bag and I'm someone who already likes to carry a lot of stuff with me and I know once I have a newborn, let alone a baby or a toddler, I'm gonna be carrying so much SHIT with me. So let me know if you guys are also on board with the bigger bags or if it's like a, a nesting psychological thing that's happening in my brain. And maybe that just happens with all moms. And that's why some things are coined as like mom items because it's just your, it's your brain. 
<laughs> what? The next trend that I'm really liking and want to get my hands on for sure are a pair of riding boots. So again, in the past like five years, we were seeing these like lug sole knee-high boots, which I did really like. And I actually had a pair from Zara, but they were so heavy and clunky that I just didn't feel like I could ever really wear them. And they were and are like aggressively trendy shoes. And I got them at a time before I kind of had my spiritual awakening with what do I actually like. So I don't have them anymore, but looking at the pairs that are a little bit more low profile and like a flatter base and a more narrow shoe, I'm really liking them. And I liked them the first time around, you know, back in like 2012 when everyone was wearing riding boots. The fact that I wore riding boots like every day to high school just seems so extra to me because they seem like a more sophisticated dressed up shoe. And I was wearing them with leggings and like a hoodie every day. <laughs> it's so weird, but I loved them so much at that point. Mine, I think, were black and brown, and they were more of a traditional riding boot with a, like, buckle, you know, kind of by the ankle, and the top was a little curved and not just straight across. Now, when looking for a riding boot, I want it to be all black. I want the top to be straight across, so it looks more just like a knee-high boot. Still technically a riding boot, but it looks more just like a black leather knee-high boot without a heel, and I don't want it to have any buckles or anything like that. I just want it to be a very sleek and chic looking boot. I think they're gonna be, I think I would wear them all the time again because in the winter time, I constantly struggle with snow falling into my like shoes or boots. And once my feet are cold and wet, like that's the worst feeling ever. So I could see myself really enjoying a pair of knee high flat leather boots. I found so many pairs on eBay or Poshmark. I just have yet to bite the bullet, I think, because it's still not cold out. So I don't think I'd be wearing them for a while. Yeah, but the, and again, still wearing them with a baggy pant and having it covered. I don't, I still think that's a really cute look. Or wearing them with fleece lined tights and a skirt and dresses, or even maybe like, dare I say capris. Like, I think capri, capris and knee high leather boots would be so cute. I'm just so excited to like start getting dressed again because none of my clothes fit right now. Like I'm so close to giving birth, so I'm not going to buy anything for the size I am right now. Um, and I just can't wait to like start dressing up again after I'm like reawakened <laughs> from giving birth. <laughs> okay. This kind of goes with the last thing I talked about, but I'm really into burgundy leather accessories. I think that this burgundy red is basically being treated as a neutral right now and i absolutely love that whether that would be a pair of burgundy red knee-high boots or riding boots or burgundy red loafers a burgundy red hobo bag or a little shoulder purse i think that it's so cute to add this pop of red to any one of your outfits the thing i will say about this if you're gonna add a burgundy red leather accessory especially if it's a boot or a purse don't match them don't treat it as a black shoe and a black purse and kind of you know having that matching color to make things work treat it as like a pop of color neutral on its own so if i was wearing black leather boots then i would add my burgundy purse or if i was wearing burgundy boots then i would add a black leather purse or any color purse just for reference i think matching the burgundy together it feels because I've tried to explain this before. Sometimes I think when things are too matchy-matchy, it feels like you went out and bought that outfit for that occasion. That just like doesn't say anything about you or your style. It, it feels cringy to me. I just love the look of like, these are all my favorite pieces and I throw them together and they just work. It's such a more raw and like organic way of dressing. I don't know if that makes sense. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about or agree. But like, you know when you can tell somebody just bought their entire outfit from Shein and is wearing that entire outfit and they're never going to wear any of those pieces ever again separately? It's just like the worst looking thing. Also, it's awful for the environment, duh, and your wallet. On top of that, I don't even think it looks good, so don't waste your money. I want to talk more about like curating a closet where everything goes together because I really think that's how you look so cool and chic. I've talked about this before. People who re-wear the same items over and over again, they just look the coolest. Cause you're like, oh my God, she loves those leather boots. Those are just like her, becomes your brand. And it's so cool. Someone else who's wearing a hundred different pairs of boots, you're like, what even is your style? What do you like? 
I can't tell. And that's what fashion should be, like an extension of your personality and your likes and dislikes. I guess this is kind of winter 2022 trends, and I'm trying to talk about things that I haven't talked too much about on my channel. So the next thing I'm really liking is lace in the wintertime. I don't know what it is is making me so drawn to lace right now because I've liked lace in the past, but there's something about it with like all leather accessories or wearing it with a fur jacket or like a trench or just, you know, earmuffs and gloves and knitted pieces that is so cute to me i am very much obsessed with the lace right now so if it's a long sleeve shirt or like even like a high neck tank top that is just entirely lace these are so easy to thrift too i've seen them a hundred times and i just never get them and now i'm like i really need to get one but whether it's black or white i think those are the only two colors i like in lace um wearing that with nothing underneath it i know it's not like winter appropriate a really appropriate period but i think it's such a cool look so that i just like it would i ever do it i don't know i would definitely need to wear nipple petals or a bra underneath i would not be comfortable with my nips out i know that's like a very parisian thing right now why i don't know if you guys don't watch not so blonde on youtube you should definitely watch her she walks around like paris and london and just asks people like tell me what you're wearing and they're my favorite places to get inspo because they're real people and not like influencers who were sent all these items and throw their clothes away the next day not that all influencers do that because i literally don't get sent shit you guys already know that real people outfits again it just says so much more about them than these curated i'm gonna get dressed today in four outfits and take four instagram photos i don't know i just don't like that oh my god everybody says i'm so much of a hater while being pregnant and i really am i'm such a hater when i'm pregnant it's insane i can't help it and maybe it'll go away in a month and i'll be nice again sorry if you don't like me like this I can't help it, it's the hormones. Okay, and the next trend that I really like right now are thick belts. I've talked about thick belts again already in a video, so I don't wanna talk about them too much. I really like them like riding like on your hips, and that doesn't necessarily mean you have to wear something low-waisted. You could still wear more of a mid-rise like midi skirt and just have your belt, your thick belt, kind of riding low on your hips. I try to find a lot of photos of this and the only ones I can find, not the only ones, most of the ones that I find that are this are the diesel belt. I, if you guys are into like online fashion trends, you probably know what I'm talking about and I've showed them in my videos. But this diesel belt, basically everyone and their mother already has and I feel like people are already getting sick of it. So if you wanna participate in this, literally go to the thrift store. There are so many of those belts that we all used to wear like basically under our boobs and cinch in our waist. And I just love that, again, something I talk about all the time, we're getting away from this idea of like, we have to dress for our body type and to accentuate certain assets to make us look like feminine or sexy or thin or whatever you know like stupid shit did i just swear i guess i'm passionate about it i love that we can take these pieces now and be like no like it's so much cuter like more fun or comfortable to wear uh it just like on my hips like really low and slouchy and just use it as like an accessory not as something to cinch me in or to wear you know just like baggy clothes and not think like oh i'm like losing my figure oh no like who cares lose your figure it's in oh i love it okay <laughs> and the last thing that i'm really really liking are kind of a random uh sneaker and that's the I need, I don't know how to say it. I've never heard anyone say it out loud and I just don't think I can read. Anitsuka Tigers. Oh no, I'm not saying it again because I don't want, I don't want to. Uh, especially the yellow and black ones. I've really liked this shoe for a while now. Um, <laughs> when I watched Haikyuu, which is an anime in 2020, uh, it's a Japanese volleyball anime, obviously. And they all wear these sneakers and I've was i didn't know what they were and i like texted my brother who's a sneakerhead and i was like what are these and he told me and i was like oh should i get them and now i've seen some people wear these yellow and black tigers that's all i'm calling them and they look so cute i think the pop of color sneaker are so fun a lot of people have a kind of pop of color sneaker in an adidas samba but they are so disgustingly expensive in every color right now um like the wales bonner ones are beautiful but if you don't want to drop at least four hundred dollars like good luck so i think that these tigers are a really cute alternative and uh, i think they're 
going to be something we start seeing more and more of. Just again, this like low profile, we're so much more into this like a uh, delicate small shoe now we're we're already getting so far away from platform everything which is just insane because like even think of like the ballet slipper it's such a low profile like makes your foot look small yeah and like the the it sneaker 10 years ago five years ago were nike air force ones and now it's the adidas samba like the difference in the shoe is just crazy just think of more low profile slimming shoes and that's what we're leaning towards no more lug sole platforms obviously you can still wear all of those but i'm just i'm just talking about what i see okay but that's it for this video it's kind of a long one what do you guys think are these winter trends or are these just trends i like are these even trends are these just things i like well make sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to you'll see me in a few days but i'm pre-filming or pre-recording a lot of videos because once i give birth who knows how i'll feel okay i love you guys the absolute most make sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to if i want to i don't know what i'm saying bye